Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have love with wealth. Somebody, this is about love abounds, okay? No matter what is in the way, uh, somebody is crazy in love and wanting to actually experience it now, okay, in the 3D realm. Wanting to uh, actually experience the joy that comes from it instead of stress and uh, all the negative. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you and we will be together again. Yeah, somebody is definitely... Uh, wanting and craving love it's on their mind as well as reconciliation here overall energy we have queen of wands this is about taking action but at ease with it okay also getting attention but knowing things are very passionate and powerful and things will come to fruition okay queen of wands is a very powerful card here okay so let's see what's going on in your energy this week we have the Empress Tower and the Four of Pentacles. So there might have been some things lately that have rocked your stability or have made you feel as if uh, things are kind of crumbling around you. This could be financial here in the Four of Pentacles or your love life, but uh, things are not quite what they seem. It's showing me that these are a blessing in disguise. So all the things that are happening here unfolding are meant to happen this way. So keep your positive mindset here because you're about to see some beautiful things come out of a negative uh, spot. So let's see what's going on with their energy here. The world page of swords and the ten of wands. So this person has also hit uh, the breaking point. They are tired of not being able to be with you or be able to talk to you in a way that they want to here. Tell with the ten of wands. They're ready for a new beginning, uh, a new way of living here, a lifestyle with you. Ten of wands hanged man. Yeah, they feel like there's something that's been hung up in the situation. This has been left in limbo and they haven't been able to kind of figure out how to make this work. But they realize now that the answer was actually right in front of them. Uh, all they had to do was really stop, uh, you know, getting into their emotions and fearing the worst and look at uh, logically the reality of things. Tell to Page of Swords. Four of Cups, Queen of Swords, yeah, they see you as very intelligent, so they know that, you know, at this point, you may be looking at this and thinking, okay, they didn't do enough, they didn't uh, really give to me in this connection, and so they know they've got an uphill battle here, but there is something really brewing in the universe, something truly special for you. And this is definitely happening uh, for a reason, but I see that the universe is conspiring here. Okay, so uh, even though things seem chaotic, just keep in mind, the universe has your back. I just heard, yeah, my hands were completely tied. So you may have felt as if your hands were tied in the situation. Uh, for sure. Moon, King of Swords, and the Queen of Cups for the past. So a lot of illusions here. Not ever knowing what was going on with them as well. It felt like you just didn't have a clear vision of if this person wanted a future with you or if they were going to invest in you or not. You felt like they could be very cold and just think about things very logically here. Or they can be a black and white thinker as well and not really take feelings into consideration or the fact that they needed to open up to you and hear you out and your side of things because uh, it looks like you are struggling emotionally here to really, you know, get some clarity, a lot of illusion. Tell me the moon. Ten of swords. Five of swords. Yeah. 
it got to the point where you felt like this person didn't have your back, that they were doing things to betray this connection or hurt you on purpose, and that they were taking something from you uh, just to get what they needed and desired without giving anything in return. And you felt that they were very callous, they were cold, and you felt like you put a lot of time into this, a lot of effort as well. And you really stayed through some hard times with them and really supported them, but you didn't get the appreciation and you didn't get them uh, to get on board and to open up more. I see that they have this cold stone wall and it really is, um, you know, a barrier that they put up because they felt like there was something blocking this that could not be removed and they had to really think about this logically here. If they dived in their emotions at all, they felt like everything would crumble okay tell us the queen of cups king of pentacles ten of cups yeah it's like in the beginning when you both got together it felt like an intense connection it felt like both of you were just meant to be together and that this person was going to own up to how they were treating you and what they were saying in the beginning but it soon fell apart they became uh, the king of swords instead of the king of pentacles and you felt like they didn't really have your back they were more focused on themselves and uh, everything that was going on in their life and you just really didn't matter so let's see the challenge here i also see there is a big issue with communication for some of you if there is a third party here or even if it's not I see there's a break in communication, not being able to communicate with you due to some physical aspect or being held back. And this truly frustrated this person to the point where uh, they would start sabotaging things, uh, purposely not calling you as much or purposely ignoring your feelings on things, uh, not giving you affirmations of love because they were frustrated. So they kind of took it out on you in a way. Judgment, Six of Cups, and the Six of Wands for the challenge. So, yeah, just going after what they wanted. So they truly desired you and this connection, but they were letting everything else uh, take precedence over your feelings and this connection, even though they wanted this more than anything and desired it as well. This is all they ever thought about. And the King of Swords, I mean, still, that's constantly overanalyzing and thinking a clear way through to make things possible. So you were always on their mind, especially them trying to figure it out with the moon card. It's like, you know, what is going to happen if I choose this? What will happen if I do this? Uh, and it's that fear of things not working out and actually them making their life worse uh, in a sense. So with the six of cups here, this could be a soulmate situation, but I do see that the love definitely feels on from their end that you are somebody very special that they really never thought they would meet in their life and somebody that understands them and really supports them in everything that they do they've never really had a, such a positive influence and somebody that is willing to be a humanitarian so uh, they admire uh, your compassionate heart as well as who you are as a person but they don't really talk about that they may say a few things here and there definitely in the beginning but I see that they really didn't embrace you they didn't really give you the appreciation you needed they more so took from you and felt like well you're okay anyways you know you're strong you can take on the world nothing can stop you so you don't really need that affirmation from me but in fact we all do right uh, we all need to hear this and uh, feel it as well especially about if that's the needs that you have they need to meet you in the middle so they see now you know the answer was really right in front of them they're understanding it uh, much more clear and with the six of wands here, there was an ego 
that was an issue and I seen that this person needed to deal with the fact that they were always out to get the answer that they needed to find the solution that they needed without taking your feelings into consideration or really talking to you and I see if you would communicate some worries or fears that you have or whatever was on your mind they would kind of blow it off they would change the subject or just kind of not address it in a sense some of them would go quiet as well stone cold and I see it was very hurtful it felt like you know you were the only one giving of love and this person was not giving back uh, with the chariots as well this person's focus was mainly on you know strategy what can I do at this point even though they were hitting roadblocks but I see that they were also concerned about something in their environment as well that was going on that they did not disclose to you because they were afraid that you might look at them in a certain way or judge them. So they felt like there was more issues and more problems that came into their life since you've been in it. And it felt like everything was kind of crumbling as well as from your end, you felt like things were crumbling as well because you felt like, well, okay, how is it this hard? I mean, you, all you have to do is really set your mind to something. You know, if you really want it, then make it happen. And that's how you've always been able to do things here, especially as the Empress. They really do view you as somebody that can take on the world. It's almost like you snap your fingers and you make things happen magically. And that's just their viewpoint. They really do admire you in that sense. Okay, so let's see what they do here. Uh, what action they take. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Page of Wands. So we finally have them turning over a new leaf, leaving behind something that they should have left a long time ago, as well as walking towards an opportunity that you are going to be so pleasantly surprised about. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. But if this is your last stop, Aquarius, my lovely Aquarius, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time.